Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope all of you are fine and okay. In this video tutorial, I'll try to demonstrate how to set up Dreamweaver with another MySQL database. Okay, instead of using the Zap MySQL database, we are going to use the MySQL server version 8 and that is the community edition. We are going to set up Dreamweaver and we are going to use PHP to communicate with that MySQL community database using a custom uh, user okay using a manually created user okay, instead of using the different user we are going to use a newly created user to uh, communicate with that uh, database using dreamweaver and php but in this scenario we are not going to use the same mysql database okay so you need to have dreamweaver you need to have XAMPP, you need to install uh, MySQL Workbench and MySQL Server uh, Community Edition. We are using Community Edition version 8. In your case, it might be latest version. Let's start MySQL Workbench first. Okay. So this is MySQL Workbench. You can see this is Workbench 8. In our operating system, we have installed XAMPP and there is a MySQL database within XAMPP and we have installed MySQL Community Server So, and this is here as local instance. We are going to connect with this instance instead of XAMPP MySQL. We are using Dreamweaver and PHP. We are going to work with XAMPP Apache Server because PHP requires a host server. So we are going to start Apache. So starting the Apache server right now, we are using the default port which is port 80 for HTTP and port 443 for HTTPS and we are not going to use this MySQL here and that's why we are not starting here because we are not going to use the XAMPP MySQL. Instead of using the XAMPP MySQL, we are going to use the local instance. Here you need to understand one thing that we are using here localhost and we are using the port here 3306 but the for XAMPP MySQL we are using the port 3307. Okay, so let's start Dreamweaver then. We are using Dreamweaver version 2020. Okay, you can see the Dreamweaver version it is 20.2. In your case, it might be latest one. Alright, we are going to set up Dreamweaver so that we can run this. Okay, so we have already set up in one of our channel videos. We have shown how to set up Dreamweaver to run a PHP code and MySQL code from the XAMPP MySQL server. Okay. This time we are going to connect it using the same configuration uh, but we are using different um, server name and username so that we can connect to MySQL community version. Okay, so you have to maintain the site. Let's just see the site. Manage site here. You can see here is a demo bar uh, and this one. Okay, so double clicking it here so you can see here the site name is this one the local site folder is the htdocs folder and it is the, there is a folder named dream mysql here that is the folder htdocs folder then there is a dream mysql folder and another folder is there named as mysql and one file is already there so we are going to use that file to test it out okay at first i'm showing the setup here here we are using a php version 7.1 instead of this one you can see the server we are using the testing one so if you double click it then you can see this is the local xamp htdocs folder and another folder is there named as xamp dream mysql web url is localhost because we are using you can see the xamp port here okay it is port 80 that's why you are not using any colon or other a manual port just after localhost but if you are using a different port you have to use localhost then colon then that port and then forward slash okay but in our case it is default one that's why it is localhost only and remember okay and now and advanced settings we have set the server model here php mysql okay and we didn't maintain we unchecked it maintain synchronization because we don't need it okay but we have checked this one automatically push file to testing server because this is important because each time we are going to change it uh, there will be a warning sign okay there will be an alert sign but we don't want to avoid that and for that uh, we have checked it automatically push files to testing server okay and this will help you uh, it will save time because you don't have to 
uh, give the permission each time so you can use the same settings to communicate with this one local instance mysql version 8 so using the xamp mysql and you can see that we didn't start mysql here uh, okay let's uh, go there so you can see the users these are the users so we are going to use this one test user we are going to use this user and this user has a permission to go from host and this user you can see schema privileges world schema uh, all permission is given there you can see the schemas we have three different databases here uh, system and world so this user has the permission to use this one okay the world database right now you can see the tables only three tables here default tables if you whenever you are going to install uh, mysql for the first time you will see this so we are going to use this user you see if you click on refresh then you will see we are using this file we, we have a file named this one and it is within the htdocs folder then the mysql folder and then mysql folder okay and there is a file okay so opening that file in remover right now using double click and the file will open there what uh, we are using a simple connection using server name username user password and database name we are creating that connection and then we are checking that connection whether it is okay or not and then there is a SQL query to create a table name this one and then we are going to execute that query if the query is successful then it is going to show the table this one created successfully okay and we are going to create three different tables using three different ways the first one is mysql i object oriented way the second one is procedure RAL way and the third one is pdo in the table names are different also here the customer pdo and here this is customer sql i pro because we are using the procedural way and here for sql i object oriented way okay so this is simple one use the server name so different four, we are using four different variables here server name username user password and database name so you have to be careful here and you have to give the exact names there you can see the connected database is here we are disconnecting it right now you can see here localhost 3306 the port name is 3306 okay so if you are using multiple sql instance then you have to remember this port uh, and you have to mention that port as well within the server name so our server name is not only localhost it is localhost colon 3306 using that one here localhost and then 3306 here the username is not root instead of you we are using the test user so the, this is the test user and the password is also same for the test user here the database is not test okay here the database is let's go there and if you go to schema you can see with the database is world and if you go to the user okay and then you can see schema principles world this user has given the schema privileges uh, to use the uh, world database okay instead of test world so this is the server name and you have to mention the port here not only localhost then colon 3306 because we are using multiple sql instances and username is test user this is a newly created user and the password is also the same okay and database name is world and this user has the permission to use this database okay so we are going to use this database and we are going to create three different tables using three different ways the first one is object oriented way the second one is procedural way and the third one is pdo and pdo stands for php data object okay and we are using the php code and we are not using any html code here okay so this is it so we are set here and right now i'm going to press ctrl s to save it and you can split the window and you can see testing mysql using root user we are not using actually we are not using the root user we are using a different user test user so i didn't change it that's why it is here but the table customer sql i object oriented we are using creating three different tables you can use the live option here or you can use the code view or even the split view okay uh, in Dreamweaver, uh, you can code efficiently uh, by using the split window. You can check instantly whether it is done or not. Split window right now. Okay. So let's check. Disconnecting it again and connecting it again. Let's check one more time. 
okay and going to schema and then right click and refresh all and check the tables you see these are the tables customer pdo and the customer sql i object oriented and customer sql i pr okay let's drop one like sql i uh, pro okay sql i o o okay we want to drop it let's see drop the table and you can refresh okay and let's change our code here a little bit instead of using this one we, ju we just have deleted this one object oriented one so you're using here okay triple a let's check it and here using a a a okay and then we have changed it change the name of the table and change the uh, change it the day that it will this if it is successful if the query is successful then it will show this and now save it and you can see here the table customer aa created successfully the first one is created successfully the second one is third one didn't there is an error because those tables are already there already existing so let's check it and refresh again and you can see aaa is there you see in this way you can work with uh, multiple instances and uh, you can set up dreamweaver and then you can use php code and you can connect to different mysql databases and you can see that we didn't use the my apache mysql server and we are using uh, mysql community edition here and you can delete and you can test again and you can check the table details here also by inspecting table okay here you can see the columns okay and this is the info and these are the details getting out of this and refreshing it so in this way you can set up dreamweaver to connect with different mysql instances and you can create new user and you can use that user to uh, create database and do all your required tsql okay queries so i hope that you have understood how to use dreamweaver and php to communicate with a different mysql server uh, uh, instead of using the zap mysql server you are welcome to check other uh, other videos in our channel if you don't understand anything then please use the comment box to comment there so that we can answer uh, if you like any video then don't forget to like share or subscribe see you in the next tutorial video until then take good care of yourself bye